what is up everyone i am micro and welcome to my channel today i am doing something different as i went to the concert yesterday so i decided to do a series of concert reviews now it's not going to be a regular series of course so it will come up well eventually when i go to see a concert some bands so i will try to make a report from uh, attending these shows now, yesterday there was a co-headlining show in Bratislava, Majestic Music Club. Uh, it's a co-headlining show between Soilwork and Cataclysm. So they are on the second European leg this year, supporting... Uh, Soilwork is support, supporting their latest album. I'm sure I will mispronounce this Overgivenheten, something like that. Uh, nevertheless, the album is really cool, so uh, it was nice to hear songs live. Also, uh, Cataclysm is supporting their latest album, Unconquered. Together with them, they have Horizon Ignited. So, uh, it's also a label band, so it's a nice nuclear blast package if you want to see them go. So, uh, yeah, uh, so Horizon Ignited, they have been around since 2017. But I have to admit, I never heard their music before this tour, so... Uh, it's a nice little melodic death metal band, so, uh, uh, well, it's a little now, but hopefully they will get bigger, bigger, so, uh, uh, they opened for Soilwork and, uh, Cataclysm, and I have to be honest, I was a little, little late, so, uh, I only caught about, uh, half of their performance, so, uh, but it was, uh, really showcasing that uh, they fit really well on this bill as they all, uh, form some kind of death metal subgenres so uh they form nice ni nicely with the death metal team so uh uh after after horizon ignited uh, so soil work took the stage so uh i have been on their last tour when they toured for the last album so uh it's been uh, four years now yeah, seems like a long time, but I believe around four years. Yeah, nine, 2019 was the year when they were in Bratislava last time. So, uh, four years. Uh, so, what to tell about them? I've been following them since uh, 2005, but they have been around longer than that. Uh, somewhere from 1995, I believe. Uh, and they have 12 studio albums already, so... Uh, that's a pretty pretty great achievement in their discography and they are getting better and better better and better as they go along so uh, as for their performance the band is really tight they they know their songs they are go they went through from uh, the latest album through the living infinite uh, the previous album as well uh, yeah, they even threw bastard chain from a predator's portrait so that was really cool to hear uh, the only problem I had was uh, this kind of a bad sound in the venue or I don't know, sometimes the vocals were a little bit unrecognizable or, or lower in the mix. Uh, drums could be a much heavier, much bulkier if you will. Uh, so I don't know, they could tweak the sound a little bit but the band was fantastic and uh, I don't know, the show flew just by. So. Uh, uh, it could be longer if you ask me. So, that was soil work. Now, <laughs> Cataclysm had other issues. So, this was actually kind of... Not disappointing, but it was an experience, so to say. So, uh, no, this guy comes up on the stage. Uh, I don't know if he's a promoter or something for this gig. But uh, he comes up on stage and says that the uh, singer cannot perform with the band. The reason was uh, is because he was sick, got some cold or something, so he wasn't able to perform. But they all decided that the band will go on and perform as instrumental trio. So <laughs> that actually happened. <laughs> now I've seen Cataclysm live with Maurizio, of course, and they crush it live. But this was well, actually, when you take the vocals out, this trio is pretty tight, pretty pretty well played. They know what they are doing on stage, so. It was heavy nonetheless, even without the vocals. But after a couple of songs, Maurizio did decide to come out on stage. And he tried to sing a couple of songs. He promised he 
probably won't do a all whole set though. It was obvious he had a fever. He was uh, kind of standing and sitting down a little bit. Uh, it was wearing him out. So after a couple of songs, he actually uh, went away again. So, uh, but kudos, respect. I mean, I wouldn't even go. I wouldn't even think about going on stage. And he actually managed to sing a couple of songs. So respect. And also towards the end of the set, a fan came on the stage to sing As I Slither, I believe was the song. So that actually also lifted spirits. Uh, so you can say the crowd was enjoying nonetheless, even though Maritza wasn't able to perform with the band. But uh, the three guys just crushed it anyway. It was, uh, it was, it was, as I said, an experience to be on a instrumental cataclysm show. So, so uh, yeah. That was pretty much eventful evening, if you ask me. So the band still have uh, around dozen of shows uh, throughout the Europe. So if you can check the dates, you can go out and see them, support them, buy their merch like I did. I took a couple of records with signatures, some t-shirt and, you know, back so I can bring this stuff home with me. So uh, uh, I try to support as much as I can. So uh, go see them buy their tickets buy their merch support them everywhere you can so uh what's there to say i will put uh, descriptions of the bands and labeling uh sorry links into the description uh so you can follow them i will put my links as well so you can follow me on all my socials so uh yeah Hit subs subscribe button, uh, hit notification button, uh, write a comment, write negative comment if you want, if you didn't like this, write a suggestion if you have some, if you know some songs or videos that you want me to react to, just put them in the comment and I will sh be sure to read them and choose something to react to. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it guys so hope you enjoyed this and i will bring more reports from the show as i attend them so uh so that's it and i will be seeing you cheers <laughs>